Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to help Paleo Bakehouse rebrand themselves PBH Foods. And we will try their keto goodies right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to help a company called Paleo Bakehouse rebrand themselves PBH Foods. This is so exciting. And they're not just paleo. They've got keto stuff for yeah. the keto folks. So I've been messaging back and forth with the owners and they are really cool. And they met, reached out to us and said, hey, will we mind trying their new products and seeing their new packaging and helping them with their relaunch? Mind eating dessert? No. Don't mind a bit. I actually just learned, too, that they're in Miami, so they're not very far away from us. So maybe at one point we can kind of go down and meet up with them and see their operation. Tour the bakery. That would be kind of cool. So let's take a look at what's in this box. What's inside? So we got a couple of cards. Ooh. So goodies. what does PBH stand for? Eat PBH on October 4th, 2018. That's today. So it's passionate, bold, and honest. So they got a whole bunch of different things. It says, what does PBH stand for? For us, it stands for passionate, bold, and honest, but the possibilities are infinite. Mm -hmm. So then we got a card. 100% real, 100% a whole, 100% delicious. And it says, uh, Paleo Big House is now PBH, and their little story launching on October 4th. So on the back, it says, recipe for passionate, bold, honest treats. Ingredients, two high school sweethearts, um, one... $21,000 Kickstarter project. Wow. One dream. So this is like a recipe card. Yes. Mm. Directions. Preheat mom's oven for two years. Wow. While the, number two, while the oven is preheating, have the high school sweethearts get married. How cute. Number three, mix together the Kickstarter project only to find out it was only enough for their plumbing. Whoops. Oh. Number four, take 365 days to build a commercial bakery. Wow. Number five, overcome three occasions of almost closing your doors. Number six, Add in a handful of extremely passionate customers and fans. Number seven, bake in an oven for eight years. Number wow. eight, remove from the oven and top with an incredible team. Enjoy your dream, which is it, which is now. Wow. So they actually had a couple of videos leading up to this, and there's a little snippet where they kind of tell their story. We're going to play that for you right now. We know most of you who are watching know our story. But just in case you're new here, let's start from the beginning. This story begins with Josie and I. Two high school sweethearts turn newlyweds with Josie's mom's oven and a dream. We launched a Kickstarter in 2011 and we got funded. Only to find out we had just enough for the plumbing. We almost closed our doors not once, not twice, but three times. We were so excited to receive that key, but that quickly went away when we realized we couldn't make rent that month. But just like anything in life, if there is no challenge, there is no change. And we've learned and grown from that. A few tweaks and changes, and we went from $0 to 13 happy employees. Plus a puppy. We've been able to supply jobs. We've released over 50 different products. Shipped thousands of boxes to our happy customers. And have constantly evolved. And we're not ready to stop there. How do we do? So we haven't tasted one single thing in this box, but do you not love them already? Not only have we not tasted anything in this box, we haven't tasted any of their products. So I am really hoping that this is awesome because they seem awesome. I'm really hoping this tastes good because yeah, I really want to like them and I want to like their products. And that's why when I found out like they're a small company and like, I was just like, I need to know your whole story and we really want to do you guys justice. Yeah. So we have two things in here. These are passionate, bold, honest chocolate chip cookies. I always need cookies in my life. And these are passionate, bold, honest chocolate chip donuts. Now, this is something that I do not get often. I love donuts, and we don't eat a lot of donuts. No. So we are going to do our five things review, which we're changing up the way we do it a little bit, but there is some copy on the back I'm going to read. Okay. It says, at PBH, we are passionate, bold, and honest. These values inspire us to craft delicious treats using real, whole, unprocessed ingredients 
found in your neighborhood market at PBH Treats. We are, uh, our tr all PBH Treats are handmade in our small batch bakery to give you a fresh homemade taste. Now you can enjoy our fresh, tasty desserts and our treats without the guilt of hacking your health conscious lifestyle. That's nice. Our keto, our goodies are keto and paleo friendly. So yeah, I was messaging back and forth with them. It's Nick and Josie. And uh, he said that they are not keto. They live a paleo lifestyle, but if they get a hankering for pizza, they still will indulge in it. All right. And so, yeah, I'm really excited about it. which one are we going to try first? I got to say, I'm super, super excited about the donuts. Donuts? So That's donuts it is. So the way we're going to do our five things review is we're going to taste our product and then we're going to go through the five things. Okay. And then we'll go over the nutrition and all that stuff as we go along. Does it look like a donut? So it does look like a donut. There's, it looks like there's six of them in here. Nice. So that is the donut. We'll open it up in a minute. Good size. Oh, I can smell it right through the packaging. Oh, wow. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my goodness, yes. Okay, so that's <laughs> the donut. Are we going to eat this whole donut? We don't even know what the macros are. We're going to eat this? I guess we're going to eat it. I guess we're going to eat this. Okay. It's very spongy. You still have to eat a cookie. <laughs> what are you, threatening me? That was a good flavor. Really good. I'm so happy. I'm so glad it's good. Aren't you glad it's good? Well. I don't have a drink. I have some tea. Would you like some tea? That is good. I want coffee now. I need to dip this in some coffee. Mmm. Wow. This is delicious. Do you want to taste the cookie first? Yeah, I'm going to put this to the side. Mine's over here. I will be eating that. Yes. That is not going anywhere. That is delicious. But that's, this is a nice little bag. It is like bag. fresh tasting. All right. Let's see if I can get I'm going to leave this over here so you guys can see it. Oh, how cute. So there's what? How many cookies in here? Six of these. Six cookies. I hope the nutrition on these isn't bad since we're eating them like without even looking at it. We're just assuming the best. Okay, we'll break it in half. Very oh my gosh, I want to like this one so nice. much because I... Nice and tall, too. Wow. You ready? All right. Wow. That is good. It's like a cake cookie. It's not like a crunchy cookie. This no. is a cake cookie, it's which a... I like cake cookies. It tastes very, like, homemade. Yeah. Wow. Okay, which one is going to be my last bite? I, do I want the donut or like, do I want the cookie? I feel like I want the donut. I'm with you, though. I'm going to dunk it in my tea. Cookie's going to be my last bite. Mmm. Very dunkable. Held up to the hot tea. Okay. That's good. You want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. Let's go over that. We'll do chocolate chip donuts first. Yep. The ingredients. Almond flour. Crystalline allulose. Stevia extract. Monk fruit. No sugar added. Dark chocolate which comprised of unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin, coconut oil, egg, eggs, water, baking soda, which is a sodium bicarbonate, salt, vanilla extract, which is water and alcohol, 35%. That's it. Those are the ingredients. <laughs> All good stuff. And then What the, do you got? In the cookies, almond flour, erythritol, no sugar added, dark chocolate, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, Sunflower lecithin, baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, salt, and vanilla extract. So those are some super clean ingredients. You really just don't get cleaner. This is pretty stinking awesome. Those are pretty stinking awesome. All right, what about... So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, so now I'm like really excited. We'll start off with the chocolate chip donuts. Okay. Servings per container, six. A serving size is one donut. It is 170 calories. 16 grams of fat, 
five grams of protein. It is nine total carbohydrates and two grams of dietary fiber and one sugar alcohol. So that would make that six net carbs. But there's allulose. Wait a second, there's allulose. So yeah, so I actually did look at the nutrition sort of, and yet there is allulose in here, but they are not telling you how much allulose is on here. So it's less than. So it is actually, the bag is gonna say six net carbs, but there is less than that on these. So yeah. I don't know how many, let's see, it says that there are four total sugars in here. So I don't know how much allulose is actually in here because the second ingredient is allulose. So I have a, I have a feeling it's a couple of grams. I did message Nick, and so he said, like, yeah, maybe in the future moving forward, I suggested, like, changing your packaging and putting how much allulose is in there. I know maybe they don't want to disclose, like, you know, how much allulose for, like, trade secret. You don't want anybody to figure out your recipe or something like that. But it would really help if I knew that, like, hey, there's two grams of allulose, and I can subtract that, and now it's only four net carbs instead of six net carbs. I was going to say, I think that definitely when people are shopping for the product, they're yep. looking for the least amount of net carbs as possible. Now, however, for somebody like me, I would probably be going total carbs on these anyway because we pretty much do total carbs when we eat a processed food. And even yeah. though it's like baked in a small bakery, it's still, for me, a processed food. Yeah. And I'm pretty happy with nine total carbs. <laughs> Heck yes. I mean, and we just went four and a half. Yeah. Like if you share it. Okay, so what do you got? All right, so for me, it's 90 calories per cookie, eight grams of fat, three grams of protein, two fiber. Okay. And then they've got five sugar alcohol. So I'm sorry, and uh, eight total carbs. So eight total carbs, two fiber, and then five sugar alcohol. So you're looking at one net carb per cookie. One net carb? Let me see this. That can't be right. One net carb, and it's got allulose in it. So No, it doesn't have allulose. This one's no. only got sugar, uh, erythritol. Wow. One net carb. Oh, I'm glad I saved that for last. I already ate mine because I couldn't wait. Wow. Now, I'll say this. As I'm eating it, <coughs> there's no cooling. no cooling effect. And erythritol is the second ingredient. So they have, like, tampered that erythritol, or they just have exactly the erythritol. They amount. figured it out. So... Okay, number three, how do they taste? They're really good. They taste really good. Now, if you're a crunchy person, they're, they're not, not crunchy. They're not crunchy they're not cookies crunchy. and they're not glazed donuts. They're not yeah, they're not like sugary donuts. If you're thinking like I want a Dunkin' Donuts, they're not a Dunkin' Donuts. They're a cake donut. They're a cake donut. And I'm gonna give you you want an example? I'm gonna give you to the closest that you would get like going to Dunkin' Donuts would the be blueberry. just I wouldn't even think the blueberry. I would just think like the like plain donut just the plain cake donut not the blueberry one not the chocolate chip one just the plain cake donut it's not overly sweet but it's perfectly sweet does it's, that make sense it is and it's perfect for dunking perfect for dunking so absolutely i think they taste great of all of the different um fresh baked products that we have tried you know we've tried a few when we were at ketocon and stuff like that I think these are the best ones. I think that they're very tasty and I just love having a donut. Like it's been a really long time since I've eaten a donut. And I mean, we've bought the molds ourselves to try yep. to kind of make, you know, donuts at home, but it wasn't quite the same. So I think that they've nailed it on, on the taste. Yeah. So, okay. So number four, how much do they cost? All right. Okay. Should I brace myself? So I don't know if I'm revealing something that I'm not supposed to, but I was looking on their website and I can only tell you what the prices were on their website because they do have some other like keto products. They do have some other keto they flavors. Have, like, brownies and such? No, I, the only thing I saw on here was if I pull it back up, they have a bunch of different flavors of donuts. Okay. Let me see if I can get to their keto. That's something that looks like a brownie. Yeah, but that might be, that's paleo. Oh, okay. Because they have paleo and keto stuff. Okay. So on their, right now, this is we're still looking on their old website. When you guys see this video, they will be rebranding themselves with a new website and new pack, before it was coming in boxes, new packaging and everything. So they had a cookie and donut bundle, which I think is pretty much what they sent us, mm -hmm. right? They had chocolate chip, chocolate chip stuff. Then they had a cinnamon donut, chocolate chip donut. They had lemon cookie, lemon coconut cookies, double chocolate cookies, double chocolate donuts, 
pumpkin spice cookie and pumpkin spice donut. Oh, that's nice hey, for the holidays. Hey, Nick and Josie, like, I really would like to try those pumpkin spice donuts. Like, I think we're driving down there to get those. And we may like, have to go to Miami. It's fall. It's pumpkin spice. Yeah. I kind of really want to try those pumpkin spice. Like... We may now be my coming mouth for a is visit. Warm. Yeah, we're coming for a visit, guys. So anyway, so I'm assuming that they're going to have all of those flavors in their new packaging. This mm -hmm. is what they sent us. Um, looking on their website, let me. They he sent me the price based on the new packaging and everything. Okay. So the package of cookies, which is six cookies, fourteen ninety nine. All right. So what does that come out to be? That's like two dollars and. 20 cents a cookie, 215 yeah, a cookie. That's reasonable. Two dollars and fifteen cents a cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the donuts are nineteen dollars for six. So what does that come out today? Like three, three dollars a donut? It, it's yeah. a little expensive. It but is. Not not, you know, it's it's fresh baked. What do you pay when you go to Dunkin' Donuts? Or what do you pay more importantly? What do you pay if you go to Starbucks? Which Starbucks is supposed to be a step above Dunkin' Donuts, right? Right. Well, this is fresh, fresh, fresh ingredients. There's well, nothing garbage in there. I was going to say you're not going to get cleaner. Yeah. So, I mean, again, keto products are expensive. Paleo products are expensive. It's not because these companies are trying to make a lot of money. It's you have to look at the cost of the ingredients. Almond yeah. flour is expensive. Erythritol is expensive. You know Allulose cheap? is expensive. White bleached flour. Right. Super and, cheap. And then the melted extrin and all the stuff that they put in there to make it stay on the shelf forever. Very cheap. They have to put this stuff in here and get it sold pretty quickly or it's going to go bad. So they have to make small batches. That, that increases the cost. It so does. I will say this. I did talk to Nick and I said, hey, listen... We're not affiliated with them. No, nope. We're not making any money off of this. Again, small little company. We were just really moved by their story. We were moved by their story. And so I did ask them, hey, can you please do me a favor and give our subscribers some kind of a coupon? So they did. It's Two Crazy Ketos. It's going to get you 15% off. You can use it one time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a one-time coupon. And again, we're not making any money off of it. Nope. I think these are great products. We're not product push or anything like that. These taste, I'm ordering some of these. Me too. I, I really am. Number I one, I want to support them. Pumpkin. But number two, they taste really good and I want to try the pumpkin ones. Me We're going to order the pumpkin cookies and the pumpkin the pumpkin donuts. Yay. So, okay. So number five, would we recommend them? Absolutely. I would recommend them as people, as human beings on this planet. I still have a piece left. Look at this taunting. And I would recommend the product. It's very tasty. It's very good. And it tastes very fresh. If, no. you're, if you're like me and I don't really bake, it's nice to be able to present something that's like, hey, look at this fresh baked deliciousness. That is, and, and they just taste really good. And I I love this packaging. I have to say, we didn't talk about this. Very and we'll finish it up here. I really like this packaging, but what I'm thinking of is how awesome coming into the holidays is this as a gift. That is nice. If you have somebody who, like, you're going to, like, a grab bag and you know somebody's, like, you know, paleo there, you know somebody is, like, keto there, like, how nice is this bag to give to somebody? Well, this is kind of a fun way to, like, onboard somebody, too, because the first thing that someone says when you say you're on keto, it's like, oh, I would do that except for I can't give up desserts and stuff. And you're like, hello. Now, it does say on here, store in a cool, dry place, um, keep out of direct sunlight. My suggestion is go stick these in your refrigerator. My suggestion would be just give all of them to Rachel and let her eat them, and like it won't be a, it won't be an issue. I'll finish them quick, and yeah. No, as, as with all keto desserts, paleo desserts, because there are no preservatives in there, store them in your refrigerator. This way, they're going to last, or even better, your freezer. They're not telling you that. I'm just telling you. But doesn't own... that make you feel better? Yeah, it does. So. So, well, that is our video for today. Uh, let us know down in the comment section what flavor you would be most interested in. Yeah, because they had a lot of good ones. They do. So, that is our video for today. Uh, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Make sure you guys go follow them. I'll leave the links down below. Bye. Bye.